right, if you are feeling sadder than usual, good news is there are some things that you can do about it. It's time for another edition of Monday Motivation with our friend Julie Black. And today she is going to be talking to us about paying attention to our pain points. Yes. All right. Yes, what, what are these pain points? Okay, so there's, there's a few. One in particular is embracing that we're all aging. Aging gracefully. And what's happening now, there's a younger generation that's so used to filters, that's all they know, that they're actually going in now, I'm talking like asking permission, teenagers, could they get the Botox, et cetera, right? I'm not anti-enhancement, do, do your thing. But when it's like, oh wait, I'm afraid to age, you know, that's where we're, get, we're getting to some trouble here, right? Mm -hmm. And so just for us, especially in the, for the adults, to realize with age comes wisdom, mm -hmm. lived experiences. Like you can't go to university and learn these life lessons, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the pain points that people nowadays are really like, hmm, mm -hmm. I'm afraid to age. No, no, no. Be happy we're alive here. Yeah. Can I say, and to that point, the, one of the uh, perspectives that really changed my thinking about aging is that it's a privilege. Mm -hmm. Look at it as such, because I there are a that. lot of us that unfortunately don't get that privilege mm -hmm. to, Absolutely. To, to age and to see uh, older uh, years. So. Absolutely. All right. Uh, what's next when it comes to pain points? The power of self-acceptance. Now, there's a, there's a big self-love movement. It's been going on for a while. Body confidence, body positivity, self-love, self-help books. But you cannot love yourself until you accept yourself. Mm -hmm. Accept where you are, who you are, why you are, right? And that whole journey of being like, this is, this is me, all of me. And I'm, I'm excited to actually grow and evolve. There's a quote that uh, Rick Warren, he's um, a, a preacher out of California, but he said, when you change the way you see things, the things you see change. I'll give you that one more time. Mm -hmm. When you change the way you see things, the things you see change. When you change the way you look, you look in the mirror and you're seeing, change, hey, you know, these legs, these hips, they're carrying me. These feet, you know, these arms, shoulder, whatever, this stomach, it's like, this is, I'm changing the way I see it mm -hmm. so that the things you see will actually change. Mm -hmm. It's a mm -hmm. thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's talk about vulnerability mm. and how to see that. Yes, yes, yes. So when we can be vulnerable, I often say volunteer to be vulnerable. That's courage right there. Because we give other people permission to do the same. Some, some people have grown up, you know, you know Jeff, you're, you're, you're a man, a male, a boy turned man. It's like, oh, boys don't cry or, you know, don't show, don't show. That's like, there's so much strength and courage mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and freedom in that release. Yeah, mm -hmm. vulnerability is not a weakness. It is actually a strength and we need to start seeing it as such. Absolutely. And the more we as adults could show the children, to, you know, educators and show your classrooms, like, the humanity of things we mm -hmm. feel we yeah. go through life and the operative word is through so volunteer to be vulnerable it really does foster genuine connections mm -hmm. all right love yeah. that okay mm -hmm. uh, your final pain point talk to us about forgiveness mm, forgiveness is the gateway to freedom this that's my own thing that's not even like a, a ai chat thing this is the julie black chat okay <laughs> It is the gateway to freedom, understanding that forgiveness isn't just for the other person because someone else did something to you. Forgiveness is for us, forgiveness of oneself. Some of us are going through life with guilt, with shame, you know, things that have long passed, mm -hmm. long, long passed, right? And recognizing that that emotional release of like, hey, you know what? Like we, I think about, you know, dating in the past. I'm just like, huh. I actually don't feel pain. I, the, you know, I'm not focusing on betrayal. I'm focusing on, my, my friend Nikki said this to me yesterday, actually. She said, now I focus on how these relationships taught me how to love, the goodness in these people. And it's not just about romantic, friendships, family, colleagues. It could be an old job. Why are we carrying all of that into the rest of our lives? Mm -hmm. Just unlock that gateway to freedom. And you know, Julie, that's really interesting because I don't think you can truly find forgiveness until you get to the root cause, as you were just talking about here, because I think sometimes we, if it's particularly if it's painful, we want to ignore it or push it to the side, but mm. if you truly deal with it, then you can find that forgiveness. And that's move it. On. That's it. I want to encourage Canada and the rest of the world, hey, there may be someone, you might want to just drop a text. How you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, I've been thinking about you. Hey, could we talk? Mm -hmm. and, and, and not look for a reply. Mm -hmm. Don't do it for a response, but do it to release. No, it's focusing on these pain points that can lead to a release of the pain, mm -hmm. right? You know, people so, so much want to avoid the pain. Yeah. Want to avoid the tears, want to avoid 
the vulnerability and all of that because there's a lot to it mm -hmm. but the moment you tap into it it's a release and to your point it, it's freedom it's freedom it's like that hose the water's flowing mm -hmm. the tap is on the pipe's on mm -hmm. but then you open up that hose mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's flow yeah. right <laughs> right all right let it flow <laughs> let it flow that is the message <laughs> let it flow Sunday. and let it go Ooh, should we do one like of these it. ah <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> just got to keep our face yeah. up here. Hey, wait a Go minute. On. Well, I was going to oh, give you, you a know. high five this way. Oh, oh wow. Look at that. Yeah. Look nice. at that. <laughs> All right, Julie, good to see you as always. Thank I you for helping kickstart our week. I yeah. love it. <laughs>